Hello and welcome to Brawl Duel. Today we've got a new mod called Painting in Skyrim, as well as some updated information on the Placeable Statics and Buyable Paintings mods. First up, let's take a look at some of the updates that the Placeable Statics mod has gone through. The Placeable Statics mod, for those of you who don't know, is a mod that allows you to create and move any items around your home, to give it your own unique feel. We've covered the mod in a video in the past, and you can find a link to that down below. Now the mod includes all of the furniture in your Hearthfire home, everything is craftable and movable now. On top of that, the menus have been adjusted for a more smooth and precise nudging and rotating system, making it easier for you to get items in the perfect place. Some smaller updates include the addition of the ability to roll and unroll rugs, as well as being able to light candles with any fire spells, and snuffed with any frost spells. Along with that, you've got several new items added to the list of available furniture, and the whole mod has been tweaked to give everything a much smoother and more responsive feel than before. And on to the Bible Paintings updates. The Bible Paintings mod is a mod that we feature that allows you to buy and place paintings wherever you want. Now the amount of paintings available for you to buy is doubled, with over 100 in total. The menus for this mod have also been updated to make things easier for you when placing a painting. And now you've also got a new journal that explains Gidar's story to give a little more depth to the mod. Links to the previous video and to the mod are both in the description. Now onto the Painting in Skyrim mod, a totally new mod that's just been released which is an expansion to Bible paintings. The mod adds a full new crafting system for paintings, and adds items like paintbrushes and easels to the game. To start crafting, you'll need to buy the painting guidebooks from Gidar, who's the artist. The book explains how to create the different types of paintings. To get started, you'll need to craft an artist easel, a paintbrush set and a palette. Place the easel on the floor like you would with placeable statics, and then use it like you'd use any other crafting station. Make sure you have the guidebooks, because without them you won't be able to craft any of the paintings. You can either buy all of the items you need from Gidar, or use the artist's crafting table that's inside Gidar's house to craft them. Once you've crafted a painting, you can use the study painting power to receive a balanced buff. Each painting offers a different buff along with an explanation to why you receive that buff for that particular painting. You can even add your own paintings to the game by following a tutorial that you'll find over on the Nexus. There's both a written and a video version, so choose whichever you prefer. We'll link to the video tutorial down below. Overall, all three of these mods have been integrated into the game exceptionally well, and really work together to give you a great new experience in-game. It's a mod we enjoyed using and we hope you enjoy it too. That's all for this spotlight, and thanks for watching.